Hey guys, this is Bill from HardwareHobbyist.com. This is Max, what's up? Today we're going to be showing you how to replace the thermal compound, or TIM, thermal interface material, on the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 470. Um, the main reason you'd want to do this is to decrease your temperatures. Fermi cards are known to run pretty hot, so anything you can do to kind of lower the temperature is great, and replacing the thermal compound is actually one of the easiest things to do. Um, just a quick warning, this may void your warranty uh, with the EVGA. They're pretty good about it though, as long as there's no physical damage, you're all good. Uh, so common misconceptions about it, if you're here just researching around, is that you don't need to um, remove any of these screws, which are known to be stripped pretty easily. It's actually really easy. The first thing you want to do is, there's these tabs here on the card. So what you want to do is you just want to pop off these tabs. So I'm having a little trouble here, you just kind of squeeze the card, the shroud. As you can see, they're popping off. Uh, just be a little careful, the plastic, you don't want to break anything. Okay, so there you go. Fan shroud, fan shroud's off. Here's the card. Here's the heat sink with its uh, one, two, three, five heat pipes. So all you need to do is make sure you have a good screwdriver. Uh, I think Phillips number one is what you want. So there's four screws here, they're spring loaded. What you want to do is you want to unscrew them, but you don't want to pull them out all the way. Just leave them in there when you feel that they're loose. Okay, that should be good. So when you have them unscrewed, in order to take off the heat sink, what you want to do is you want to kind of give it a little twist from side to side. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it's this is actually the compound that I'm going to re-replace that with. Um, the stock gunk is pretty bad. This stuff is actually uh, IC Diamond, which I'm going to also use today, and it performs a lot better. I'm just redoing it to show you guys. So you you just opened up your card, and you have this stock, stock stuff on it. What you want to do is you want to clean it off. Um, I recommend paper towels or a lint-free cloth. Uh, sadly, I don't have rubbing alcohol, which is usually what people recommend. You want it to be uh, at least 90% or more concentration so that it uh, dries easier, but I'm going to use Goof Off today, which is going to work pretty well. Um, let's see if I can get this open. Also make sure when you use this stuff that you open your windows because it's pretty harmful. And we wouldn't recommend it, so try to get the rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Okay, that's a little bit too much, but... What you basically want to do is just clean it all off, uh, get a nice shine to it. You know, oh man, that smells. Just wanna... Actually, I don't recommend using the rubbing alcohol immediately. Just uh, use some paper towels or lint-free cloth and just... Yeah, that's a bad idea. And wipe the stuff off first, and then for fine polishing it, or getting all the little stuff out, you want to use your uh, rubbing alcohol or, and then for the stuff as you can see in between the heat sinks um, I'd recommend using a post-it or like a q-tip and just get the remaining little stuff out Okay, so there's a rough GPU core. Um, one second, I'll get you guys a finished product. Alright, so in between the heat pipes that are on the bottom of the heat sink, uh, you probably want to use a push pin or a bobby pin or something like that. Post it might not be such a good idea, I'm not sure how that will work. But you sort of just scrape in between, and the stuff should peel off. Alright, 
So we got the gunk all wiped off. Um, as you can see, it's all nice and shiny. So the thermal compound we're going to be using is Icy Diamond 24 karat. Um, I'd like to thank Falcon, Falcon CMH of the EVJ forums for sending me this free. Uh, it's innovation cooling if you guys want to check them out. So my way of applying the thermal compound and um, I think the best way and also the recommended way, so it's probably the best, is for the heat sink. At least for this card, is you want to put a tiny bit of thermal compound on the heat sink just because there's these little slits in between and you just want to kind of spread the compound with your finger. Just kind of get it in between the cracks. So just give it a nice spread there with like a plastic bag. As for the GPU core, the best way is to just put a big uh, pea-sized dot in the middle of it. This is also the best way as recommended by the makers of the IC Diamond in Vision Cooling. So that's done. So you want to put a nice dot in the middle. Don't be scared if you put too much because it's a GPU core you definitely want more than what you typically use on a CPU. The reason why you don't want to spread it out or do lines or anything is that a common thing that occurs is air bubbles which are obviously not good if you're trying to get the best cooling performance out there. Okay, so you just kind of put a big blob in the middle. Don't spread it out. Alright, so the next step is of course putting the heat sink back on. So what you want to do is you just want to carefully align these four screws and place it exactly on top. You don't want to spin it or anything. The best way is to just put it directly on top and let the pressure of the heat sink kind of spread the compound. Boom. Okay, so now the last step, just get the fan shroud. Kind of line it up with the slots. Okay, so there you go. You got the fan shroud on. You just replace your thermal compound. Not so hard. Um, so now, what you want to do is just put it back in your system. Uh, IC Diamond requires some burn-in time to reach its full potential. So just, you know, just run your card, run your favorite games, and your temperature should uh, drop considerably.